Okay, so what is sexism and where have you seen it? I think sexism is the general disempowerment of women on, and in this campus I think that it manifests in like when you're in a classroom and all of a sudden all these men are speaking and no, no women are speaking but no one sees anything wrong with that which is specifically what's happened to me a couple of times. Yeah, that's sexism. So the question is, what is sexism and where have you seen it? I think sexism is like objectification, denigrating, dehumanizing women and making them inferior to men. And I see it pretty much every day and everywhere. What is sexism? What do you think it is? And where do you see it on campus? Sexism is such a big, broad thing. I can only think of maybe an example that would best uh, explain what I'm thinking. When I go to the gym and I'm in a room in the in, uh, weight room, and they're all men, and they all look at me and wonder, what are you doing in there? Why are you lifting weights? What is sexism and where do you see it? Sexism is inextricably tied to gender. So when you talk about sexism, traditionally you talk about the kind of social norms that um, are perpetuated that um, kind of hold back or discriminate women based on, based on their gender. But I also think that sexism can also be applied to even um, genderism in general and like following gender binaries. So for example, what it means for a woman to be a woman in our society, but also what it means for a man to be a man. Um, I think that, I mean, sexism is a lot of things. I think it's the hatred of women, I think it's the erasure of their experiences, it's their um, marginalization and their oppression um, that manifests itself in like a lot of different ways. Um, and I think like in the ways that I see it a lot on campus and also just in my life is in a lot of um, like activist circles. A lot of like, especially in terms of like the activism that you see on campus, like who you see on the front page of the newspaper, who you see leading the movements, it's really, it's a lot of men, and it's really like just kind of erasing the no. contributions of women in those movements, no, um, and the contributions yeah. that they've made, um, so that's where I see a lot of the sexism on campus. Wow. What do you think sexism is and where do you see it on campus? I think sexism is the general discrimination against anybody because of their gender identity, sex or sexuality. I think it all is interconnected. And I think that sexism is on this campus unfortunately, especially in looking at just who is in classrooms, especially when it comes to the sciences, you know, lack of representation of women in courses. And when professors are speaking with their female professor, usually male students will talk over them or just there's a general lack of disrespect there. I think sexism is differential treatment that I experience because I'm a woman that any woman experiences because there's a set of expectations about how she should act, how she should be, and what she should be thinking. Right now, I'm seeing it all over. <laughs> I think sexism is basically how people treat each other because we're in kind of a male, uh, like white, middle class dominated um, world. And I think that um, it 
creates a lot of different understandings of who people can be and what fields they can work in. But in the academic sciences, um, it's primarily male dominated. Where do you think sexism is and where do you see it? Um, sexism is the belief or attitude that one gender is inferior or less than the other. You see it in the chauvinistic mindsets and in the reinforcements of stereotypes that women can't do math, can't do science, yet we are over 50% of one of the premier universities in the world here at UC Berkeley. As the uh, vice president of Berkeley now, I'm often asked, um, is sexism still relevant? Um, is feminism still necessary? Absolutely it is, and we believe through education and advocacy that anything is possible.